In considering what treatments to provide adults with ADHD, we can look at an algorithm which specifies psychosocial therapies for ADHD and specific medications or types of medications for ADHD. The presence of substance use disorder suggests that treatment with non-stimulants such as atomoxetine or bupropion prior to considering a stimulant trial. The presence of co-occurring depression suggests the possibility of treatment with an antidepressant bupropion alone, or if that is not successful, treating with a combination of SSRIs or SNRIs in addition to a stimulant. For co-occurring generalized anxiety disorder or socialized anxiety disorder, the options are to treat with a stimulant and an SSRI or SNRI. If clinically significant symptoms remain after treatment with those two types of agents, a switch to atomoxetine may be considered or even a switch to a tricyclic antidepressant. The presence of no comorbidity or little deficits in executive function suggests treating with stimulants with amphetamine slightly favored over methylphenidate. If clinically significant symptoms continue, switching to the other type of stimulant from methylphenidate to amphetamine or from amphetamine to methylphenidate may be tried. The addition of CBT for executive function may be also tried. And finally, monotherapy or augmented therapy with atomoxetine, bupropion, or a tricyclic antidepressant such as nortriptyline may also be tried. The preference for amphetamines over methylphenidate is supported by a network meta-analysis of clinical trials of ADHD drugs that was published in 2018. In this particular study, 51 drug trials with a total of 8,131 adults with ADHD were examined. After approximately 12 weeks, amphetamine showed a preference or greater improvement in the reduction of clinician-rated overall ADHD scores. They were also associated with a higher risk of treatment ending as a result of adverse events. So the greater efficacy was certainly balanced by probably more side effects. No difference in efficacy was seen between higher or lower dose of amphetamines. In this particular study, efficacy of amphetamines, methylphenidate, bupropion, and atomoxetine were superior to placebo for ADHD. So all these are potential choices for medications for adults with ADHD. Unfortunately, modafinil did not make the cut, and there is very little, if any, data for guanfacine, clonidine, alpha agonist, which have shown positive effects in children. In terms of tolerability, not surprisingly, modafinil, amphetamines, methylphenidate, and atomoxetine were less tolerated than placebo and had higher side effects. The key points to this information provided include. For adults, amphetamine may be slightly favored over methylphenidate. The clinician should consider CBT for executive function deficits. For substance use disorder comorbidity, non-stimulants should be used first over stimulants. For depression comorbidity, bupropion is an alternative to stimulant plus SSRI or SNRI. And for anxiety comorbidity, atomoxetine may be used or a stimulant plus an SSRI or SNRI. 